Why is it so difficult for a normal person to catch flies by hand? An important study conducted back in 2013 revealed that the perception of time differs between humans and other creatures. This means that when a person tries to catch a fly, they must predict where the fly will go and adjust their speed accordingly, as the fly's perception of time differs from ours. To explain further, the study suggests that the faster your metabolism, the slower time seems to flow for you. But how can we determine the perception of time in a fly or a dog by observing from the outside? For this, researchers use a concept known as flicker fusion frequency, wow, F, F, F. If we take flies as an example, their metabolism and nervous system react in a very rapid and precise manner. Most flies have an FFF, flicker fusion frequency, of around 200 hertz. In simpler terms, a fly can perceive 200 frames per second. For humans, this value is about 60 hertz. This difference causes flies to perceive us in what we would describe as slow motion. To illustrate this concept, consider the following. Imagine a video demonstrating FFF. Initially, you see a light flickering on and off, and it begins to speed up. Even as it gets faster, the light still appears to flicker. Eventually, it seems constant and stable to our eyes. However, this happens because the flicker speed has reached about 80 hertz, which is beyond the threshold of human perception. For us, it looks like a steady light. But for a dog, whose FFF is around 80 hertz, the light would still appear to flicker. This principle explains why creatures with higher FFF values perceive the world in slow motion compared to us. For instance, when you try to catch a fly, its much higher FFF value makes the task incredibly challenging. A house fly's FFF can be as high as 250 hertz, meaning that while you're attempting to catch it, the fly perceives your movements as if they're in slow motion much like the famous bullet-dodging scenes from the Matrix movie. This difference in frequency allows the fly to evade you with remarkable precision. Flicker fusion frequency, FFF, refers to the point at which a flickering light source is perceived as steady by the human eye or the visual system of an animal. When the light flickers faster than this frequency, the individual no longer notices the flicker and instead sees a continuous light. What affects flicker fusion frequency? Brightness of the light. Brighter light sources tend to have a higher flicker fusion frequency, ambient lighting. In brighter environments, FFF tends to be higher compared to darker settings. Location in the visual field. The central part of the retina, fovea, and the peripheral areas have different sensitivities to flickering. Individual factors. Age, visual sharpness, and even neurological differences can play a role in determining FFF. Species differences. While humans typically perceive flickering as steady at around 60 Hz, some animals can detect much higher frequencies. Why is this important? Screen technology. Monitors and TVs are designed with refresh rates higher than the human FFF to avoid any noticeable flicker. Lighting systems. Modern LED lights are engineered to operate at frequencies that prevent visible flicker. Medical and aviation applications. FFF testing is used to evaluate visual and neurological function or to assess flicker sensitivity in pilots and others in high stakes fields. Flicker frequency is more important than we might realize in daily life. Low frequency lights like old fluorescent bulbs or poor quality LEDs, can cause eye strain, headaches, and difficulty concentrating. For those who spend long hours in front of screens, high-frequency, flicker-free lighting and displays provide a much more comfortable experience. Additionally, people with neurological conditions, like epilepsy, are more sensitive to low frequencies. Using quality lighting and devices with high refresh rates can help prevent these issues in everyday life. Here are the flicker fusion frequencies, FFF, of some animals. 
humans 50 to 60 hertz. Most humans perceive frequencies above this range as continuous light. Dogs 70 to 80 hertz. They may perceive flicker on old TV screens. Cats 55 to 80 hertz. Similar to humans, but slightly higher. Rabbits 80 to 120 hertz enhances their ability to escape predators. Birds, general, 100 to 150. Hertz helps process fast visual information while flying. Chickens, 80 to 90. Hertz, sensitive to quick movements. Pigeons, 100 to 145. Hertz can perceive fast-moving objects clearly. Flies, 200 to 250. Hertz, extremely fast perception, aids their escape mechanisms. Bees, 150 to 200 hertz. Helps them navigate dynamic environments while landing on flowers. Fish, 60 to 80. Hertz varies by species, generally higher in fish living in fast currents. Frogs, 30 to 40. Hertz, relatively low. Often focus on stationary objects. Turtles, 15 to 30. Hertz lower due to slower metabolism.